Hello, today we'll continue to review the direction words Feng Wei Ci, the second part. The character Dong comes from the image of the pocket full of stuff. So Dong, the original meaning is stuff. And nowadays, we still have the word Dong Xi to indicate stuff. And as the writing changes, the meaning changes too. In this period, Dong includes the writing of Zhi, which indicates sun, and Mu, which originally means trees. So some people believe that Dong indicates the direction that the sun arises, that is the east. So Dong indicates east. And the traditional Chinese characters writing includes Zhi and Mu nowadays. And the Mandarin Chinese character Dong is more simplified. So Dong means East. The ancient Chinese character for Xi comes from the image of the bird's nest. And then the writing adds the image of the bird. So Xi, the original meaning is perch, inhabit. And since the bird go back to the nest when the sun is setting in the west. So Xi extends to the meaning of west. And then people created another character, Xi, with the radical Mu, which originally means tree, to replace Xi as the meaning of perch, inhabit. So Xi nowadays mainly means west. The character Nan comes from the image of a kind of a musical instrument in South China in ancient times. So Nan originally was the name for the musical instrument. And then it was borrowed to indicate the meaning of South. And nowadays it means South. The ancient Chinese character for Bei comes from the image of the two person back to back. So the original meaning for bay is a person's back, and then it extends to the meaning of against violating. And then the writing changes with one more radical, that is zhou, which means meat. And since zhou and yu have very similar writing in ancient Chinese characters, so people created a new character that is bei, which combines bei and yu to indicate back. And the bei nowadays was borrowed to indicate the opposite of south, that is north, bei. The character li in Mandarin Chinese consists of tian, which means field, and tu, which means soil, earth. So li, the original meaning, is to indicate the place where people live. And so nowadays we have the word like gu li, which means hometown. The traditional Chinese character for li has different writing and meaning. It consists of yi, which means clothes, and li, indicating the lining or the inside layer of the clothes. So li has a meaning inside. And nowadays, the Mandarin Chinese character of Li replaces the traditional Chinese character for Li, but it includes the meaning of the traditional Chinese character for Li, that is, inside. The character Y evolves from the image of the cracks of the turtle bone, which are used to predict for people in ancient China. So Y has the same ancient Chinese writing with Bu, which means divination. And then the writing changes with one more radical, that is Xi, which means night. And it is said that the divination must be taking place in daytime. So it will be very unusual or exceptional to have the divination in night. So Y has a meaning of unusual, exceptional, and then extends to the meaning outside. 
Now we have learned all the directions. Let's review them one by one. Bei, the north. Nan, the south. Xi, the west. Dong, the east. Dong Bei, north east. Dong Nan, south east. Xi Nan, southwest. Xi Bei, northwest. Okay, read again. From the beginning, Bei, Bei, Dong Bei, Dong Bei, Dong, Dong, Dong Nan, Dong Nan, 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 Xi Nan, Xi Nan. 西，西，西北，西北。Okay, that's all for today. See you next time.